Hey, how's it going? I'm Mike, and here are your weekly announcements. First up, we have a small group from our Young Adults Deeper Ministry. They want to share a little bit about how God has been working in their lives so far this year. <laughs> <laughs> what? That hasn't even happened yeah. yet. I don't know, that's why I laughed. It's because of awkward dead space. Yeah, I would definitely say the depth of community, the community that we've developed. Um, like, yeah, and the consistency that our group has. Um, we can talk about real things, but also like really enjoy spending time together. Yeah, and like going off of what Will was saying, like, yeah, that 50-50, I feel like there's a good balance for us um, in our small group. Like, we can have fun and play and um, kind of like hang out and do things outside of young adults where we've created that little family kind of mentality and community, but then we also get to the deep stuff too in our small group, which I think is super appreciated, so. Mm -hmm. Well, for sure, my favorite part is just having those real conversations about the Bible. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I have had those relationships in my life where I can ask questions, but not in a setting like this, you know, with so many people, like you said, it feels like a family and mm -hmm. and just really like digging into the word. And I, I feel like through that, I've, I've learned so much, not just about the people in my group, but about God. Yeah. Um, I think for people in small communities like myself, um, it's hard to meet other Christians in smaller towns. So coming to Little Deeper and having the opportunity to meet so many young adults like the same age as you and that are also Christian, it's like really good to build a community at the church and not just outside of the church. There's, it really is a step up mm -hmm. from youth like, if you want to be real about your faith, then this is the time to do it, you know? Yeah. Young adults often are living away from their parents, or it's, yeah, it's their first time moving out. Or maybe you are still with your parents, but you're wanting to decide, like, is this my faith or just my parents? And, like, no. this is a place where you can do it. Throughout this year, there's been a couple hard things that I've gone through, and he's just been with me through it all. And even, it, like, it doesn't feel like that in the moment, but, like, looking back, I can just see how... Um, yeah, God was with me through it all, and through those experiences, I'm learning to trust Him, and I think just know that He is my firm foundation, no matter what's going on around me. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think God taught me just the importance of living life in community and living life to the fullest. So being, this goes, kind of goes back to being vulnerable with people, just being able to like express when you're sad or when you're happy, and living life like that with every, with, with people is, is really important. Yeah. So, and accepting people in that too. Uh, yeah, just sharing their heart and sharing their hurt with people <clears throat> and experiencing God in all of that. Mm -hmm. um, and we got to experience that in our small group as we uh, walked through hard things together <clears throat> and got to support one another uh, in those hard things. Um, yeah, which just developed our relationships, I think, further and uh, was affirming that we we all have a community that we can lean on in this group. Mm -hmm. And like yeah. every member of the group too, I feel like there isn't one of you that yeah. I wouldn't come to if I was yeah. dealing with anything because I felt like supported sure. by each person, like everybody was there yeah. whenever you needed them. So yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's been cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> group mates. Group mates. And they uh, group mates. Had a hockey game and, and we were all trying to go to it. <laughs> But we were going to finish our conversation first. Mm -hmm. It just went on way too long. I don't also yeah. know if he told us the right time. Yeah, he so did. So we show up no. to the arena and it's locked. And we, like, <laughs> so we just waited. Yeah. Yeah, we just waited, just waited outside. We just, yeah, some of us got Tim's like, and we were yeah. just waiting for him. And then, Tried to go to McDonald's. It was closed. Yeah, 30 minutes later he comes yeah. out. We're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is game. I, I mean, we still congratulated him. Yeah, he like, did great. We, we saw it, him. I think he still felt like a winner. Yeah. 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 We yeah. told him we were watching him. He's a winner in our eyes. He's like, oh, you actually came. Yes, sort of. Oh, we're, we're sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know who to hug. Yeah. <laughs> I like it was in the middle. Cut. That's a wrap. <laughs> We are excited to welcome Preston Bush as our transitional pastor. He is a seasoned pastor, having served for 16 years as the lead pastor of Bethany Chapel in Calgary. He was also a professor at Briarcrest College where he taught preaching and church ministry, as well as spending significant time teaching church leaders overseas. This Sunday coming up is his first Sunday with us, and he will be preaching in all of our Sunday services. 
Easter is just a week away, and we are inviting our whole church family to our Good Friday and Easter services, which are happening at 9 and 11 a.m. These will be services filled with singing and scripture and powerful messages. We hope to fill these services with our church family and with the community. So please invite your friends and neighbors in to hear the good news. There are two great ways to get involved on Easter Sunday morning. One great way is to join the Praise Choir. It's open to everyone and there's a rehearsal this Thursday, April 14th at 6.30 p.m. Make sure you sign up with Ken Dosso or the church office ahead of time. The second way you can get involved on Easter Sunday morning is to do a cardboard testimony. This is where you briefly share in a sentence or two how God has been working in your life. Contact the church office for more details. We are planning to have baptisms in our services on Sunday, April 24th. If you are a follower of Christ, but you haven't taken this step, Talk to a staff member or a community pastor or call the church office to get more info. The Prime Timers are a group of E-Free seniors that encourage one another to care, share, and grow spiritually. They are hosting an Easter hymn sing on Sunday, April 10th. Come to room 120 at 7 p.m. for a time of fellowship and worship and refreshment. This month is all about April showers. We are collecting small personal hygiene items for both men and women. Soap, shampoo, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrushes, combs, hair elastics. You get the picture. We'll collect these items all month and then we'll be, at the end of the month we'll be distributing them to Harbor House and Streets Alive. That's all for your weekly announcements. We'll see you Sunday.